Hello Prep 2, welcome to week 4 of Maths for your home learning. This week we're going to be looking at measuring and we're going to be measuring how much something weighs and we're going to be measuring capacity and volume using grams for the weight and millilitres for the capacity. Now for today we are going to be looking at how we can measure mass using grams and we're going to start off with a little bit of a recap. We've got two sets of scales on the screen now. Can you remember what those two scales are called? I wonder. You can have a moment to think, pause if you need to. We've got balance scales and we have got weighing scales. What are the differences between the two of them and when would you use each one? Maybe this is a question that you can discuss with somebody at home. OK, just a little bit of a recap with the balance scales now. We can use balance scales to tell whether something is heavier or lighter than another object. So have a look at the picture on the screen and which object do you think is heavier? It's the apple. So which object is lighter? The strawberry. The heavier object is at the bottom and the lighter object is at the top. It's just like if you play on a seesaw at the park. OK, think about how you know this. I think I may have just given you a Which object is heavier and which object is lighter? You can pause it, have a think if you need to. The banana is heavier and the cherries are lighter. How do you know? Can you explain this to somebody at home? OK, what do these balance scales show? We've got an orange and we have got an apple. What can you notice there? You can pause and discuss it at home if you need to. OK, these balance scales show that the apple and the orange weigh the same. They are level. OK, a little bit of thinking to do here now. Complete these comparison math sentences. So we've got a maths cube and we've got a battery. And you've got a greater than symbol and a less than symbol. I wonder if you can maybe pause it, you can write it on a whiteboard if you want to, or you can discuss it where each one fits, see if you can put them in the right places. Okay, so the battery is greater than the cube. The cube is less than the battery. Okay, again, let's have a look at this one. The something is heavier than the the banana is heavier than the raspberry. The raspberry is lighter than the banana. OK, I hope that was a good recap for you. So now this is something we would be discussing in class, but you can talk about it with somebody at home or you can just think about it to yourself. I want you to think about why do we use weighing scales? What do you think the scales show and how do we know this? Have a look at the picture there. What does it go up in? And what are the units and how do you know that? What is the mass? Hopefully we can uncover some of the answers to these questions over the course of this lesson. But we use weighing scales for lots of different reasons to find out how much something weighs, how heavy something is to find out what its mass is. These scales show the weight in grams and it goes up in five grams. If you have a look at that scale, it counts up in fives. Let's have a look at what we're going to do today. Today we're going to be reading the mass using the scales. OK, so the mass is we're measuring how much something weighs. OK, so have a look at the first scale there and you can see that the arrow is pointing to which number? You can call it out at home. OK, it's pointing to the ten. And what is this measured in? Have a look at the letter that you can see at the top there. It's a G, which means grams. 10 grams. That's quite straightforward, isn't it? It's pointing to the 10. Have a look at the next one now. Again, it's measuring in grams. How much does the thing weigh on those scales? What is their mass? It's 16 grams. The arrow is pointing to the 16. That's quite straightforward. I'm sure you got that very, very easily. OK, have a look at these ones now. You can pause it if you need to to work it out. 45 grams. 
and 5 grams. OK, these ones have got slightly different scales. So if you look at these, you can see it's measured in tens. But we do have one in between. I wonder if you can work out what that scale mark in between the tens might be. Let's look at the first one on the left hand side. The arrow is pointing to what number? 20 grams. Now the next one is a bit more tricky, it requires you to put your thinking cap on. So if you haven't done that already, I suggest you do so now. Have a look at that. The arrow is pointing to a gap between two numbers. Can you see that it goes up in tens? We go start at zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, and there are dashes in between. What's halfway between zero and 10? It's five. So each of the ones without a number means five. Count round the circle if that is helpful to you. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 grams. Let's check and see if we were right. 45 grams. Okay, now these ones, are, they're, they're getting a bit more tricky. Have a look at these scales. These scales are going up in twos. You can see 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, counting up in twos each time. Now this arrow is pointing somewhere between 6 and 8. Have a think about what that might look like on a number line. The scales are just like a round number line, really. What number would come between six and eight? Seven grams. See, it's not that tricky, is it? It's just a curved number line. That's all that you're looking at. The next one, look at where that arrow is pointing. It's a number between 12 and 14. I think you can work this out. It's 13 grams. Did you get that one right? OK. This question says, look at the scales A and B. OK, the arrow is pointing in the same direction. So the items on both scales show the same mass. Is that right? Is it true or false? Can you explain your answer? You can pause it now and have a think or have a bit of discussion at home. See if you can come up with the answer. False. The scales go up in different intervals. They're on a different scale, aren't they? Scale A shows a measurement of 35 grams and scale B shows a measurement of 14 grams because the arrow might be pointing in the same direction, but it's pointing to a different number altogether. I hope you got that one right. OK, which items could be measured using the set of weighing scales above and which items couldn't? Make a list. You can do this on your whiteboard or you can do it through a discussion at home or just thinking about it yourself. So the top measurement on this scale is 45, the top number. So which items do you think you could measure using this set of scales? Could you measure your car? I don't think so. Could you measure yourself? Probably not. Have a think, what do you think you could measure on this set of scales?